Hello and welcome to the Career Corner where we answer your career cues. My name is Lucas Kaufman. I'm your host for this show, as you know by now. And today, I've got two very special guests who are here to talk to us about double majoring. Today in the Career Corner, we are joined by Casey Ingraham and Mariana Contreras. Casey and Mariana, welcome to the show. Happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Incredible to have you. So just we're going to jump right in. Boots first. Uh, can you guys share your your personal experiences with with double majoring and and what made you kind of decide to go that direction in your in your college career? So I'm a screen cultures and journalism double major, and I kind of went into it first um, when I was applying to the college. Originally, I was just a screen cultures major, and I really liked the program. I wanted to do something like film related, but not exactly production. And once I got here, I joined the Ithacan and kind of getting a taste of like what journalism was like. Like I already had thought about it before college, but I was like not too sure if it was like the right career for me. And then once I joined the Ithaca and I was like, oh my God, I really, really like this. So that's when like, I kind of was like, okay, I do think I want to pursue a career in journalism and stuff like that. And honestly, like, I think both majors really complement each other and like, it was an easy way of me because they're both very flexible and like credits and stuff. So it was just, it fit together. Amazing. Cool. Um, I'm also in park. Um, I'm in park in Dilly. I'm theater arts management and television, digital media. Uh, I'm actually a transfer student on top of that. So I came from Clark university uh, in business administration and theater with an emphasis in musical theater. And I ended up finding Ithaca College and really valued the hands-on program. I started as TAM, Theater Arts Management, and IMC, and bounced around a bit. I was always a double major, but didn't figure out um, TVDM was where I wanted to be until two years ago, I want to say. And now I'm in my last semester, and it has been just one of the most incredible experiences. It's a pairing of majors that works really well and you wouldn't think it does but it does I was influenced by a Tam alum um, their name is Sean Malone and they were incredibly helpful with me um, figuring out that this is something I want to do uh, I'm more in the management side in TVDM same with Tam so it's kind of um, helps me blend those two passions together and also bring the two schools together in a way that isn't really done that often yeah incredible so uh, Mariana, we'll jump back to you and then we'll kind of just go back and forth for the for the rest of these questions here. What what are the advantages of double majoring just for your, you know, your personal school experience and and beyond? What can double majoring do for your career? Yeah, so I think one of the advantages are like the variety of courses you can get into. So for me, like a really interesting thing is like having that ability of like taking many different courses each semester so I don't feel like oh I'm taking too many journalism classes right now or too many screen cultures classes it really has like it makes it fun because even like homework wise it's like yes I have to write but I also have to watch this and I also have to do this so I don't get like stuck in like the same um I don't know it just it, it really gives me like a lot of creative freedom and at the same time I think that Another advantage more like career wise was that I wasn't exactly sure. Like I knew I wanted to do something with content, but I wasn't really sure. So having the two majors and having like such diverse courses also makes it very appealing. So when I'm applying to stuff, it's like, yes, I have journalism experience, but I also have film experience. And I also have like, like kind of like more like culture and religion and like other kind of things in the mix and it just really gives me a chance to explore like what do I really want to do like what do I really want to move on forward with and get that taste here before I go into the real world like the career world yeah absolutely echoing off of that I think one of the biggest benefits is the versatility there's so many opportunities to explore. I've been really thankful to have five internships in both um, theater, television, and film. And it's been a really, really cool experience to go from, you know, um, last semester I was in insights and analytics and that summer, the summer previously I was in operation distribution. I've done um, casting and general marketing and uh, kind of everything under that umbrella. So it's been really beneficial to be able to put that double major on 
my resume and on my applications. And I've just really appreciated finding that balance between the two schools and, um, you know, from finding uh, opportunities for performance majors to be in park films or um, bringing on the creative team from Dillingham Productions to ICTV shows. Um, it's been really great to kind of boost that collaboration and find that passion within myself. Yeah, amazing. And Casey, we'll stick on, on you for this next one. Reverse the order a little bit here. On the flip side of that, what are some of the, the challenges that come with double majoring? It's a puzzle. Like I said, I was a transfer and I jumped around and made my second major three times. So when I was sitting there looking at if I could do TVDM on top of TAM, it was down to a T. I had to do it perfectly because I also studied abroad last semester. And I was like, I will be going to London and I will graduate in spring 2024. So the biggest challenge is being on top of degree works, being on top of all your requirements um, and also with being a transfer, um, making sure every class you have taken previously fit to a qualification. I was very fortunate that all of my credits transferred um, into not just major requirements, but ICC and then transfers don't, our theme is just being a transfer student and what that means to us. Um, so it's very fortunate in that realm, but I would say it's, um, it, it's a test of your ability to be organized and on top of things, but it's a really fun puzzle. Nice. Lucky there on the on the theme. I lucked out not having right? to pick oh, one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, Mariana, uh, challenges of, of double majoring. Yeah, I think the degree works thing is very true. Like you have to make sure you are getting those requirements met. And I think it's like it, it has its pros and cons, obviously, but it, it's it's also like, for example, one thing for me has been like I love my majors and but I also love exploring classes. So one of the things is like knowing that maybe my classmates are like, oh, I can take this random course this semester. And I'm like, oh, if I can, because if I add those credits, then I cannot do this or that, right? I'm also thinking of going abroad. So that has both been like a challenge and a pro because of the classes, I have to look at very specific abroad programs that have like classes for bow majors or stuff like that, because you have that like tied schedule that you have to go with. Yeah. Amazing. Now for both of you guys, and we can start with, with Mariana, we'll, we'll kind of stick to that back and forth. I keep mentioning it. You guys know the viewers at home. know we've got the formula down. Uh, so for students who are, are considering a, a double major in, in both of your experiences, are there any particular majors that you think lend themselves particularly well to a double major? Hmm. I think, I mean, I'm sure there are, I wouldn't be able to like pinpoint them. Like I said, for example, with mine, a very good thing is like, they're both kind of shorter majors, or if they're not like, they're more like free with the requirements that they have. Like there's a lot of like, you have to take like a class, like in screen, you know, like stuff like that. It's not really like this class is more like pick one, um, which has helped a lot. I think for example, like um, a major like, what's it called? Um, computer science would be like a harder one to, I have I know people who do it, which I think it's amazing, but it's harder because of like the workload again. Like, I think it depends on like the kind of workload, also kind of like how different they are. I think both with Casey and I, like our majors are different, but the, at the same time, they like work together. So that's a really nice thing that you can like, do whereas if others and like they benefit like for example with me with journalism one thing is in journalism you have to have a minor and because I'm double majoring I don't have to have that minor anymore so it like it's like working the tricks around the majors of like how can I make this work and also make it work as the both like complement each other I think any major can be doubled um if you put your mind to it and if you really want to do it I have friends who have done two really hard or are doing and have done two really hard majors um i have a friend that you know is stage management and tvdm i have a friend who's an acting major and a business administration major like wow just yeah it's incredibly impressive and i think it's just putting your mind to it and um making sure to communicate with your advisor too and um, i think that's a struggle too if your advisor like is it in it as much as you are uh, it might not be as possible um you have to find that encouragement with them but i think you know as as 
if you think it will benefit your career and you think, or not just your career, your, your personal and professional self, if you think it'll benefit both of those or one of them, uh, I say go for it. And you never know. Now, both of you have uh, your, your double majors are, are pretty complementary to each other. Have there been any times where you've been able to take one class that satisfies something for both majors at the same time? Mm, I don't think to that degree. I'm I'm still hoping, uh, I'm, <laughs> especially with the study of rock ones. I'm like, hopefully one will do for both. Mm -hmm. But like I said, like the journalism thing with the minor that has helped or also just like, I think in my case, the fact that they're both like, not so little in requirements, but so open with the requirements has really helped. Yeah, I think um, my majors complement each other, but they don't substitute a lot. Mm. The I have gotten substitutes, which is or um, crossovers, which has been super beneficial. I think like in London, I took British Media and Society, which fit my TVR requirements, but also I had a requirement to take a over three hundred or three hundred or four hundred level class. Um, some of my theater classes fit the area of study for TVDM, which is also mm -hmm. why it's a great double uh, double major major, because there's this whole section of your degree that's just you study what you want to. And when you enroll in it, it'll immediately, immediately recognize it in degree work. So uh, I took a directing class in Dillingham and that qualified for my area of study for TVDM. And but most of my stuff in TVDM has overlapped in my themes. Um, I know topics in media technology uh, was a was a requirement for TVDM, but fit two of my ICCs. So mm. it's kind of all just worked out in the end. Yeah, that, that's a great, that's a powerhouse of a class. <laughs> love that class. Writing too. intensive and, and diversity, I think double. Yep. Yeah, yep. It's, a, it's a good class. Good class. Now, uh, for both of you guys, uh, is there anything that has has happened in your in your time double majoring that you didn't expect would happen? And that can be positive or negative. That's like unexpected. Is that your question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think just like in general, like I didn't come into college thinking of necessarily double majoring. So that in itself was pretty unexpected. But I think also like how flawlessly it has worked out, like being able to get that, like every time registration comes around, I'm like all nervous and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going, am I going to be able to get all my classes? And then I think, oh, actually the schedules work out, you know, or actually I can take this and this, and that leaves me, you know, I think it, it's, it takes effort, but if you really want to, like Casey was saying, if you put your mind to it, it's something that anyone can accomplish. So I think it was unexpected how honestly, like, it's a very visible thing. Like you can make it, it can't happen. Yeah, exactly what I was going to say, Mariana. Um, <laughs> it was so surprising how well it worked out. And I was shocked that I, could graduate on time with all my other <laughs> things that um happened before deciding to pick my two majors. Yeah, I get the same feeling of during registration of being so concerned that like if I don't get into one class, like I have to rework the entire plan. But even if that happened, like my two advisors were always like so helpful and I oh, we always had a plan B ready to go. Um and Sometimes they were like, oh, if you don't get to a class, like we can always talk about like an independent study, which um, I, I wish I did. That's something I regret not doing, but it sounds like a really cool opportunity that people have done. But I feel like um, it's just been easier than I expected. Yeah. Now, you mentioned your your advisor helping you out. Uh, as a whole, do you feel that Ithaca College is uh, has resources to support you in double majoring? And, and if not, is there anything that you think the college could do better to support students who, who are looking to succeed in, in double majoring? I definitely think the resources are there. Yeah. Um, I think it's a matter of reaching out. I think that's the hardest part and the most scary is just like asking for the resources. But I've always found them there. Like I'm also an international student. So for me, like the whole college experience has been very confusing and weird and stuff. But I think Ithaca has a really nice way of like making things accessible. And if they're not clear, like there's always someone you can go to to ask. So it's just a fact of like, like we said, putting in the work and like really going forward with it. It has, you have to be very proactive in it, but it's worth it. Exactly that. <laughs> um, I think it's, you know, there's obviously things here and there that could 
see improvement in the academic realm of Ithaca College. Um, but I think that the opportunity is there. You do you have to um, seek it out, and I I don't think it's necessarily promoted to do a double major, but it's definitely not. It shouldn't be, and I hope it's not looked down upon um, in the chan in the way of it's a stressful thing to do. I think something too I do want to add is sometimes sometimes on forms and stuff that the school sends out it won't let you put two majors mm. or it'll say like your I don't know if degree work says this but somewhere says it of like this is your first major and then your secondary major and that word secondary for me just makes the second one so like it doesn't make it as valuable and I wish like it would just be like majors um right, some yeah. say major like just put the little s in the in the um what are those things called parentheses parentheses and like we're good um so I do hope some of that uh becomes more common because we are seeing more and more double majors but besides that I think it's been a um a smooth ride to figuring it out yeah awesome so the college has mostly uh great resources and opportunities there just got to add some some uh parenthetical s's on there so in terms of your own time and, and your own strategies, it's a lot going on. What are what are some strategies you guys use to to manage your time double majoring and, and how you kind of fit fit that whole schedule together and everything? I love being organized. That is like my pride and joy. It is my hobby to be on top of everything I do. Um, I use Outlook Calendar. I use my Google Calendar. Uh, I use the Reminders app. I use, um, I have a Mac. So I have like the little notes app that like, I'm like looking at it right now. I have like my schedule <laughs> breakdown by the hour next to it. I have a homework, a homework sheet. Um, I use Evernote for all my classes to take notes in. Um, and I have like folders organized by semester of like everything I've ever done. Um, <laughs> it's just, I love doing it. Um, and it's definitely helps being a double major. So Obviously, you don't have to go to that level of being organized, but I think it's super important um, if you do want to pursue being a double major, uh, being on top of both. And like I said, like I don't think one is um, has more weight over the other. So making sure they're both a priority in my mind um, has been something I've kept up with for the past three years at Ithaca. Same here. I love being organized. I'm the kind of person that's like, even before like going to the register, I already have like all my courses and I already thought of my courses for next semester. And I'm already like, you know, I'm always, I think I'm always two steps ahead, which is good. But it's also like having, I think, cause I could say the same things like all my notes, my calendars, everything on my, all my devices is like linked together. But it's also like having some like patience with yourself and being like kind to yourself. Cause at the end of the day, having, two majors is hard work and I think also one of like the hardest things is like balancing it with college life because you don't want to be like in classes all the time right like you also want to have jobs or internships opportunities and all this so it's really finding like a way to have the gratitude to be like I'm doing all this and understanding that sometimes having a double major means that you might not do x or y or sometimes it means finding the way to do x and y while also making it work with your double major so also being a very open-minded person i would say like just being someone who can make those things happen and make those connections and find ways to like you know if you have to ask for an extension for something because your other major has the same deadline or whatever be able to be like hey you know um I need this. And I did that also recognize like your own needs and make sure, you know, you're taking care of yourself because having two majors is doable, but it's also something that takes out a lot of a person. Yeah, absolutely. Great advice there from both of you guys. That was, that was, that was juicy stuff. <laughs> so next question here, do you think people have, what are some of the common misconceptions people have about double majoring? And what do you want them to understand better about it? I feel like, yeah, that it's it's doable. It's even more common every day. It shouldn't be something looked down or, or like you're not, like I said, yes, you do have to find that like school, life, work balance. But at the same time, it's not a big, big sacrifice. Like there are ways to make it happen. 
that it has its benefits the same way that it has its negatives and like if you really think that it's something like Casey was saying was it's going to help you professionally and personally don't be afraid to take the chance and if it doesn't work out it doesn't and if it does it does you know I think more like leaning away from double majors and more towards college college is a time to just try and if, do and can't say the same for my double major but my minor I'm changing it every single day and I, all the time <laughs> I'm like do I really want that minor or do I want another minor so I'm like and that's fine like I think coming to that conclusion of like it's a game it's our time to try and play around and just you know I think I said this previously but it's daunting it's a it's a hard thing to look at and say like I'm gonna be able to do this um and I'm not gonna feel overwhelmed um I mean the truth is you will but that's natural for being in college and everyone feels overwhelmed all the time it's just how you um take that and turn that around in a positive way um and I think I've been really fortunate to be able to find some of my best friends in both majors and be able to um, build my life outside of academics, um, believe it or not. <laughs> but I have, ha you know, like even tonight, like um, in a few hours, I'm headed to the opening night for the last days of Judas Iscariot. And then tomorrow I'm doing something for the park school. And it's kind of like just being able to jump around like that is it's hard to think about um, in a way that doesn't intimidate you, but it's fun. And it's just about having fun and embracing, um, you know, what you what you want out of college and I'll say the same thing of you don't need to know what you want to do right away and I chose two very broad double majors for that exact reason because there's so many things I love and I don't want to be stuck in something very specific that you know in four years time if I'm like oof I don't you know want my degree to be in this specific thing anymore um I'm very fortunate to have two majors that don't pin me down in that way and just because you have two majors um, doesn't mean you're you're stuck in what those fields imply. Um, and that goes for people who aren't double majors either. It's just have fun and do what you want with college. Amazing. Thank you guys both so much for for sharing your your experiences and your advice. We are in the home stretch here for this episode of the Career Corn. But before we close out, I want to open it up to you guys. If there's any uh, last pieces of advice or or anything else you want to say to our our listeners at, at Ithaca College and beyond about double majoring? Mm, I would just say, Casey reminded me this when she was talking about like how broad her um, majors were. I think that especially if you're someone who's very passionate about a lot of things, consider double majoring. Yeah, I think we are stuck with this idea, or at least I know that was my case. And especially one of the reasons I didn't initially go to journalism was because I was like, oh, if I choose this, this is what I have to do the rest of my life. And like, if I internship one time here, then I'm going to stuck in that position the rest of my life, you know, and especially in our like generation, I think we're living in a very like fluid world where all the opportunities open up to other things so make the most out of that like don't just be like okay I already picked this path so that's what I'm gonna stick to and I love Ithaca College for that I think it has so many opportunities um you can be involved in so many things or you can be very involved in one thing like you have so many options and it's all your choice and that can be intimidating but it's also a very it's a great privilege we have, right? So yeah, kind of just like leaving that thought to like, you know, do whatever you want. I bet when we're 50 year olds, we're not gonna be thinking of oh, that one time I chose double major and I shouldn't <laughs> have, you know, so. Um, mine would be get involved and use it to your best advantage, whatever that means for you. For me, it means being on LinkedIn, like, four times a day. I love LinkedIn. <laughs> um, if anyone wants to feel free to go look at my LinkedIn. I pride myself in my LinkedIn. <laughs> um, and being on top of um, making sure your double major shines and your abilities are showcased in that. Um, I have like multiple resumes catered towards different fields. And I've been so fortunate to explore so many different industries um, academically and professionally. So engage. Um, with what you want to engage with and it's 
It's an exciting ride. I've loved my time at Ithaca College. And I think one of the biggest advantages here too is the ability to network. And, you know, when I'm requesting to follow or add someone or follow them on LinkedIn, a lot of the time it's because they graduated from Ithaca College. And I know what that, um, I know what that means um, as an alumni, as a, as a future alumni. I hope I um, will continue continue doing that. So yeah, that's that's the advice I got. Amazing. Well, thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. That's uh, Casey and Mariana talking about double majoring. Folks, that's all we have for today, but you do not have to wait till the next episode to get career guidance. You can visit drop-in hours every weekday from 11 to 2 in Muller Faculty Center 101. I'm Lucas Kaufman, and this has been Career Corner. Mm-hmm.